So thyroid cancer is one of the now leading causes of cancer in the whole world. Now this is because of over detection. Over detection because of different imaging modalities which have been used rampantly. But I would also like to say something. Not only because of over detection but the thyroid is changing. The thyroid cancer is changing its stripes. It is also getting more and more diagnosed. It is also getting more and more diagnosed not only because of over detection but also people are having complaints. People are having the biology which is changing. So the biology has changed and which has led to increased incidence of thyroid cancer. It is must that we should know how to diagnose thyroid cancers. Apart from signs symptoms that we would discuss patient having a neck node metastasis, a neck node swelling, midline neck swelling, compressive symptoms, we also need to do three important tests. The first is a thyroid function test. It's a blood test and it is going to help us detect whether the patient is euthyroid, hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. Hypothyroid means low thyroid levels, hyperthyroid means high thyroid levels, hormone levels, euthyroid means normal thyroid levels. By and large, thyroid cancer patients will have a normal or a lesser or lower thyroid cancer level, uh, thyroid levels, thyroid hormone levels. So they will be either be a euthyroid or they will be hypothyroid. I'm Dr. Snail Shah. I'm a robotic thyroid surgeon. I am a robotic cancer surgeon. I also deal with robotic thyroid surgeries. Now, being a, very rarely will the patient have a hyperthyroid that is excess high, high thyroid, high thyroid hormone levels. So the first thing is thyroid function test. Once this is done, we also do ultrasound neck. Ultrasound neck helps us to characterize the thyroid nodule which is harboring a malignancy and depending on that, we will direct our FNAC that is a fine needle aspiration cytology under ultrasound guidance to a solid component and try and study those cells whether they are harboring cancer or they are not showing any cancer. So thyroid function test, ultrasound neck and ultrasound guided FNAC. There is also a role of CT scan, CT scan or MRI scan for this patient especially for those who have locally advanced thyroids that is those thyroids which are involving a recalangial nerve those which are involving the air pipe that is trachea those which are involving the food pipe which is a esophagus not only that those thyroid cancers which are also involving the strap muscles anteriorly so all locally advanced thyroid cancers will be will be screened with imaging preferably ct scan over a mri mri may be used to see for the involvement of larynx, aerodigestive system, predominant CT scan, plus minus MRI which will be complementary. What's the role of PET CT? PET CT will also play an important role. PET CT is used for de-differentiated thyroid cancers. These are those thyroid cancers which are not well differentiated. They are going to be very aggressive histologies. They are going to be either poorly differentiated or they are going to be anaplastic. That is those which are going to go quickly showing no features of thyroid so thyroid gland showing no features of thyroid cells but are something different so this total differentiation undifferentiation is going to lead to what we call is anaplastic so it is it for those conditions pet ct will also help not only detect thyroid cancer it will help in prognosticating at the same time it will also help us to know how the patient is going to respond to therapy Apart from that, sometimes radio iodine scan is used, especially in a hyperthyroid state or a thyrotoxic state as to know which is a actively secreting active solitary thyroid nodule or which is the active nodule among the toxic multinodular goiter. So, so this are going to help us find out. Uh, there's something called as a flip-flop phenomenon. Just to, just to uh, uh, wind up, I would like to say, there's something called as a flip-flop phenomenon. Flip-flop is those phenomena where if the thyroid on a PET CT shows uptake means it's de-differentiated but that does not show uptake on PET CT but on a radioiodine is a thyroid which is well differentiated. The second scenario is well suited for the patient prognostically. The first scenario will portend a poor prognosis. Thank you so much. This is for to assess to more uh, information on this. Please access my site, my website. Thank you so much.